Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be true, all true, and nothing but true? Yes. Please remain on the record. My name is Dana Stevens. Be with us. Thank you, Your Honor. Back to Mr. Stevens. Are you a resident of the state of Florida? Yes. And in which county do you currently reside? Right now, Swanee County. And when did you move to Swanee County? In 2013. Are you a member of Walls Coalition? I am a member, yes. And do you own land in Swanee County where you reside? Yes. And is it more than one acre? It's 20 acres, just over there. And what is your current occupation? I'm retired. And from what occupation did you retire? I was a city Miami firefighter for 27 years. And as a uh, firefighter, did you have any particular assignment? Uh, main assignment was obviously fire suppression at a station, but also was assigned to an apparatus and equipment committee as well as the accident review board for at least 10 years. Has uh, you have any contact with any members of Sable Trail Pipelines uh, representatives? Um, until May of 2015, the only contact I'd had was with two survey crews who said. My property had absolutely nothing to do with it, and a member that came to a very well-dressed man that said he was representing the affected na uh, neighbors in the area, and my name wasn't on the list, so I was not invited to the meeting and told that I didn't have to attend anything. All right. Did yeah. you happen to go to the meeting? No. Was there uh, any other contact you had with a representative? In May of this year, a, another survey crew showed up at my front gate with a GPS on a stick and said, we didn't know you existed. We need to get your well and septic tank measurements. And then um, contacted an attorney that I had after that in June. And that's been basically, they, had, they did come to the house about six, maybe eight weeks ago to try and answer some of the questions I had, but we weren't able to answer with two. Do you know if there's a, a, a existing pipeline that crosses your land? Do you know if the proposed pipeline is proposed, well, not to you know, but to the best of your knowledge, is the proposed pipeline uh, going to cross your land? From what I've been told now, that yes, it is crossing uh, about 100 feet up in the corner. And did you say in the corner? In the northeast corner, yes. The northeast corner? About 100 feet of it, angled along a FPNO easement or something. Is anything uh, special about the northeast corner? Um, after they had told us that they weren't going to use our property at all, my wife had waited 20 years to spread her ashes out. So I went out, she picked an area, we made a memorial. I even told her, just in case there's these orange markers over here, we'll stay about 10 or 15 feet away from them, spread your ashes over here, and I cleared an area for her. She's actually got three headstones up, but only one set of ashes are spread. Her parents are actually in Arlington. So it's the ashes of her parents? Yeah, her, the ashes are of her grandmother that are spread in that area. Thank you. Um, would if any impact would the pipeline have uh, on your property, to you as a property owner? A personal effect on me? Well, even one of my daughters has told me she you definitely, all, all persons whose property will have the pipeline on it are substantially affected. Okay. Yeah. Good question. All right. Aside from the fact that you're substantially affected by the <laughs> pipeline being on your property, is there any other effects uh, that you uh, uh, well, believe will impact your property ownership? I, I believe, knowing that from what I've read, that at least 2% of the product doesn't make it to the end of the line. That has to leak somewhere. And I, one of the reasons we love that area was the water is crystal clear, beautiful to drink. We haven't had a filter put on or anything. And now we've got to sit here and have a pipeline that definitely leaks something somewhere, somewhere along the way. 
Could that something be methane? Objection. At this point, we're getting into concerns, which the judge has already ruled on, and also calls for speculation and calls for an expert opinion and no foundation. No. Seeking an expert opinion. Concerns are? I'm sorry. <laughs> Is anyone from Sable Trails, I mean, Sable Trails representatives, made a representation to you about the um, effect the pipeline might have on, on, on you, um, aside from being on your land? Objection relevance. Let's get to the ERP. I believe the uh, relevance would be uh, testimony concerning um, uh, leaks, leakage and smelling of leaks, the presence of um, methane gases. The representation made by the respondent to the property owner is the uh, line of and the, uh, it's a public interest. And again, how does yeah. that reach the ERP? That uh, again, it's public interest uh, with regard to this property owner and his interaction with the respondents' representatives. Public interest factor is going to impact some water resources of the state. Well, <clears throat> in this in this context, this is a limited you know, air permit will reach those questions, perhaps. However. Uh, if that's, is that, if that's the only thing you were going to listen from me as far as contact with Sable representatives, then I will allow if there's something else that they were talking to him about. Could be relevant. No, that it was uh, the extent of the uh, question. All right, thank you. I have nothing further for this one, Mr. Honor. Thank you, sir. Call. Any questions? Quick break, Your Honor. Okay. When did you become a member of Walls? Oh, last week. Last week? Mm -hmm. And have you, do you have to pay dues? Uh, $25. Dollars. And have you already paid it? Yes. And <clears throat> when does your membership expire? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. No further questions? No questions from the state. Thank you, Mr. Stevens. Thank you, sir. You want to be calling uh, the next witness?